All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take this human mesh and we're going to delete the bottom half of it since we're only doing the torso for this tutorial. So I just use the faces select tool and highlight everything and then hit delete. And now it's time to get to sculpting. And the first thing I'll do is get this grab brush and just start pulling things around. It'll look a little weird here and there <laughs> as uh, I start building things up. Just start to use simple brushes like the bulge, the grab, um, getting everything kind of situated visually. Uh, I'm going to bring this image in to the perspective image plane which was explained in the written part of the tutorial just as a visual reference while I'm working it helps you know keep me from bouncing back and forth between an image viewer and Mudbox. So just um, starting to work on the silhouette of this guy just slowly nothing too specific yet kinda getting some major features in there like these back ridges that I want to have still don't really have a clear idea what I want these to look at this early on but I do know I want them there and right now I'm just prepping this whole thing for a retopology since there's so many polygons that are being stretched and pulled and um, you know that's the nature of using a human mesh for a creature is that we need to redo the topology at some point so just kind of pushing in different spots where I wanted to give me some good topology although I will say the very first uh, retopology that I do is not going to be uh, too detailed it's just to give me some good polygons to work with and we'll see that in just a second right now I just want to get a general frame and volume for this I don't like to rush this part of the process at all, even though this is sped up. Uh, just because of the nature of how kind of back and forth it can be. Um, it's a little bit easier to watch, a little faster. But I tend not to uh, rush this part of the process. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is go and move the whole head forward so I can get enough good polygons underneath there just get a little bit more dynamic kind of feel to them. Looks a little goofy right now, <laughs> and that's okay. Like I said, just get this thing prepped for more polygons. Um, I need to pull these arms out, so I'm going to use the pose tools. I'm going to use the create joint, and I'm just going to drag out and then pose from there, following the prompts on the uh, mud box screen, and just pull it out there. So now I'm going to do make symmetrical, so I can flip it to the other side. It's going to flip to all the polys entirely. So that was a quick way of mirroring that over, which is a cool new feature. And now we'll do the retopologize. And I'll keep most of these things pretty um, default, but I'm not, um, you know, it doesn't have to be too perfect. I'm going to try to like right in the middle on the optimized versus uniform, and then I'll flip it from left to right and then retopologize takes a couple seconds. Actually, it took a few minutes um, that I cut the time out, and then we got the new polygons. And so all these faces and these polygons are a lot uh, more uniform in size and generally flow with the forms that I was shaping out. So it's a very cool new feature. Um, well, it's been in there for a while, but this is um, a handy feature for sure been there for a, a release or two I think and sometimes I'll just make sure I got that really flipped the way I want to all right so there's the good look at the new polygons and I'll just start to get a little bit more detailed with my blocking I'm starting to get more bony landmarks and design uh, features in there like the crown of his skull um, sort of pull those out but generally these polygons will tend to hold shape pretty well the mouth not so much eventually we'll probably need a new retopology but um, that'll be a long time from now right now I just want to get all the different 
major features just kind of cut in and blocked in before I subdivide. If you notice, I haven't even subdivided yet. And that's just so I can get everything kind of in place first, visually, before I commit to the next level up. Lots of just silhouette changes and feature additions. And for all I know, some of this might change along the way. And I keep it pretty loose, so I'm not getting too detailed on something that's just going to get, you know, smoothed out and redone in a different way. So I like to work in the heads first. I don't know if you noticed that, having touched the body hardly. It gives me an idea of the personality of this thing uh, from the get-go. helps me to figure out what the body's going to look like from there on out. And I know I want to have like this like alligator-type belly, uh, lots of flappy skin and kind of rough texture down there and some big arms some beef so I start bulging things out and pulling things out and just give it more thickness and more girth because he's supposed to be sort of like this kaiju thing a large huge scale monster which is super fun I'm using a scrape tool right now just to get some uh, planar faces going, basically get some flatter kind of shapes going. And I'll use this po the pose tool again just to give me a, a nice pull on the neck without distorting anything with the grab brush, grab tool. It's kind of a quick way of doing things too. And I like to work on the back of the character, even though we're probably only going to see the front. Um, I like to work on the whole thing, just to get the whole flavor of the, of the beast here. So just real simple, just brute force kind of blocking of shapes, nothing too detailed. So that's keeping keeping me honest to the design process of slowly building this guy up. And it's really going to pay off later on when I start doing tertiary forms and detailing and um, all this kind of hard work we're doing here in the beginning. Is it going to be our framework for all of that? So I'm starting to lay in a little bit of mus musculature here with the wax tool. Uh, just gives me a little bit of an idea of how some of this stuff will flow out. Uh, but just quick strokes. Then I'll start pulling the fingers just to give them some long lizard-like kind of fingers, but that's it.